Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the pH meter with respect to making solutions and pHing the solution, adjusting the pH of the solutions. Now, the first thing that you need to do is, of course, you weigh out all the powders that are involved, required for the solution, and you dissolve them completely by putting them in water. Let's say we want to make 500 mils. So you put them in 400, 425 mils of water and you dis dissolve them completely. So everything is completely dissolved. The next thing you do is you turn the stirrer off and you pour, pour it into a 500 mil volumetric flask. And if you want, you can actually use a funnel for this one. But since we're just demonstrating it, I usually don't use a funnel. And make sure that all of the liquid has come out. Okay, after that, then you see that the mark for 500 mil is way, way above that. So we take a squirt bottle containing deionized water and you squirt water in there to make the volume up. And this is a very precise way of making solutions. All right, so you squirt enough uh, water in here. may have to do it with several squeeze all right and then you kind of slow down the closer you are to the mark and the rule is that the bottom of the meniscus all right the u-shape bubble above the water level should be even with the mark for 500 mil so, like that, that's exactly 500 mils, okay? Now, I take that volumetric flask and I pour the solution back into the beaker. And this is the solution that we're going to test the pH for. You set this aside and you stir it and you kind of adjust the speed of the stir center it not too fast not too slow but you can see that the liquid is moving around all right then you come to the pH the pH meter is always on and it's always stored either in a storage potassium chloride solution or in a standard buffer. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to standardize it. And you usually need two pH standards. But since we only have one uh, pH standard, we're going to standardize it using this one single pH standard. And so you pull it out of that solution and then you put it over a an empty beaker and you squirt the ionized water on it like that okay and you can actually take this tape off so you can maneuver easier you squirt this like that and clean it off and then you stick it back in the standard like this and then you press standardize and you wait and it's going to read and read and when the S appears like that and when all the numbers stop blinking and the S appears on the left hand side it's ready
the pH is 7.02 it's not quite 7 but it's close all right and then to measure the pH after your solution is you take that out and you rinse it off again over the beaker that you provided okay and then you use that pH arm like so to stick this in and then like a boom you work over into the solution like that now that reads out the pH of that solution and the pH is 7 point well now it's we're gonna let it let it read Yeah, it should stop reading when, when the number changes it should stop reading uh, we're just using this as an example but the uh, this is water that we're actually using uh, reading the pH for okay Well, this is kind of scary for the pH of this water, but but uh, but the to finish this out, so you put it in here and it's going to read the pH and then it's going to stop when it reads the exact pH, and then you begin to add either sodium hydroxide or hydrochloric acid. If the pH is too low, raise it by adding sodium hydroxide. If it's too high, lower it by adding HCl and we usually have uh, uh, the solutions around okay and uh, just for demonstration I'm going to actually measure the pH of one of our buffers this is a non-sterile 0.5 molar EDTA solution and so since this is a sample water I don't need to rinse it off so I'm going to just open this like this and see if I can read it directly. Lower this inside. Use this tape to hold it. Okay. All right. And when it stops flashing, that's the pH of the solution. So the pH is about 7.75. Okay? So that's how you use the pH meter. And when you finish, take it out of your buffer. Again, you provide this for washing. So rinse it off very, very thoroughly with deionized water using this squirt bottle. And then you put it in the arm and you store it in the storage either standard solution or potassium chloride solution and that's how we use the pH meter. Thank you.